Hey everyone, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and I'll be playing the final blitz today on Lee Chess. So yeah, let's get started and see how it goes. Got the black pieces here, we'll play the Karukan defense. C65. If he takes, we'll take back, he doesn't. So we're developing the bishop on f5. He's trying to expand his position and control on the center. Just bring back the bishop just in case he takes. I can take back with the h pawn. He doesn't, so knight to e7. He pins the knight. I'll develop the other knight on d7 now. On a6. I think I need to capture the bishop and push this dark square bishop from here. Okay, expanding up the king side because the plan is not to castle. I have a couple of ideas. Can I exchange the bishop? Pawn starts to get spoiled, but. The edge friend will get opened up. Looks good to me. Let's see. He takes, I take back. Just trying to attack his queen now. Takes, take back with the pawn. The knight. Okay, it's trying to open up completely. And why not? He has got a chance to do so. Okay, let's play queen here to e7. He pushes the pawn forward. Have to take now. He takes with the rook, defending the pawn with the knight. So he's aligning his pieces, have to castle. And get the rook in the picture. Removing the pin from the knight. Can take. He takes. I take back with the queen now. When defend the pawn. Can take the g pawn. Yes, he does. Taking on the c2 now. He's aligning everything there. What do I have here? Can I leave the pawn in line. Let's see. Takes, takes, just move upwards. Take on the pawn. Try to defend. Threatening mate as well on the edge too. Just in case he misses it. He doesn't. Can I take on the pawn and draw this game? I doubt. Let's see if I could draw this game somehow.
He exchanges the queen. Very smart move. No other option there huh, to exchange. Let's push the pawn forward. That's it. I guess I'm getting a queen now. The game has turned. Preparing a queen. Let's get the queen. And he takes, I take back, can just go towards the pawn, make things a bit simpler. Let's go back, not in a hurry at all. Too many pawns to be controlled and he resigns so yep converted this loss into a win i would say there was probably a time when i was losing completely let's see how the game went he started off with knight to f3 so pawn c6 he develops e4 then d5 he plays and then developing the bishop on f5 he tries to stop the pawns moving forward and strengthens his center by moving the d4 i close the center by moving e6 he offers bishop for an exchange i get the bishop back on g6 and then developing the knight on e7 was perfect he tries to pin the knight i'm okay with the pin so i develop the other knight to d7 he develops his knight to c3 now and then I move a6 he develops his queen to uh, e2 and then I capture the bishop he takes back with the queen just trying to kick away the bishop from here he goes back which gives me an opportunity to push the pawns forward so pawn to g5 there he pushes the bishop backwards and then knight to g6 could have opted for knight to f5 as well yes that's attacking the bishop directly but that was fine and then and because he gets to have extra pawn later on he takes and i take back so b7 he takes and then i plant my bishop on g5 he takes and I take back with the pawn. He tries to make sure that he's in the same controlling area. I try to just get my knight into the action. Here he plays f4. Pretty aggressive, opening up the f file. I just move the queen to e7, preparing for uh, queen side castle. Here he pushes the pawn forward. I take, he takes back with the rook. I develop the knight now on e6. So, yep, I missed this move. That was pretty good enough to kick away the queen from the king's side here. So, he plays rook to f6. And I castle. He aligns his pieces. I get the rook into the defense. He tries to enter from the queen side now. So just moving the rook. Also making sure that the knight is not anymore pinned. He goes uh, to c5 with his knight. I take. He takes back. I take with a check. So... Getting a pawn is always good with a check. And here, computer is suggesting that you can go to e3, but I lose a pawn here for sure. I'm, I'm not pretty convinced with this line. Let's see what computer was suggesting. So, going to e3, and if he captures, I have to take back. He takes with the rook. And then I have to go somewhere. Uh, last rank or up. Let's go with the computer and see. 
I'm threatening mate. So I don't think he'll be moving the pawn, but rather trying to defend the mate by the rook, not just by moving the pawn forward. Let's see if he does this. We can take the pawn, threatening, and then he moves. Yeah, pretty, pretty equal situation. Yes, could have been played like this as well. But he, uh, instead, I just make sure that the pawn was not hanging. He takes the uh, g5 pawn. Now, also, plan was to open up the h and g files so that I can probably threaten some mate eventually. So, capturing the pawn now. And then aligning the rooks on uh, the h file. Here he takes and I take back. He takes with the queen and I go up on b6. The game is 0 0.7, 0 0.6 in the favor of white. So pretty good. Uh, here he moves the pawn forward. And I take the extra pawn, whichever I'm getting. And then queen to e5, the best move. Trying to threat mate over there on the h2 uh, with a couple of pieces but then he saw that and moved uh, h3 pretty solid move for him i went with my queen on g3 the idea was i can take with the rook after he develops the queen and he has to take back i take with the queen and then we can just keep repeating here and there is no there's a draw uh, hidden suppose he develops the queen here so uh, the plan is to capture he can take or he can move so i thought he would take either way it's a draw there's just repetition happening threefold repetition and it would be a draw so that was the plan uh, but he was uh, trying to be smart there tried to exchange the queens so that there's no draw happening he wanted to go for the win i captured the queen of course he was in the commanding position before that uh, he takes and then i just went with rook to e8 he tries to pin my he tries to protect the pawn but i get the king there quickly and started moving the d3 now instead of capturing and exchanging stuff trying to create some pressure on him he doesn't bother till i reach on d3 and now i capture the pawn first and then push the pawn forward, making sure that queen will be on the board. After that, he plays king to g2. I often exchange if he wants to, he doesn't. Yep, I have just saved the queen by moving to e7 first, but I was pretty comfortable by exchanging everything and then going on to win from there, just getting the rook on the time. And then just pushing the pawn forward. Too many pawns to be controlled. He cannot win from there if he goes to take these pawns. Of course, I'm going to get with the rook and also saving the pawns and capturing his pawn. So a complete victory from here and he resigns. Uh, so yeah, a dominating game, uh, I would say, at the end. Uh, was pretty much here and there in between. If you see, it, it went to white favor completely. At one point of time, he could have just given a check from here and then went sorry he could have just given a check from here and then pushed me around the board he can of course sack a piece as well here so if i go up what was the reputation he goes and gets the queen now there's no draw because even if i take and he takes he can just move that's it and then he goes away i can probably give one more check but then queen comes into the picture and if i take then also he has like a couple of queens against one queen so no point uh, it's not going to draw from here for sure so he missed the rook move and the game turned upside down so i'll just hang in there and try to play on the situation um, the opponent is also human he will make mistakes and be ready to just grab onto them all right i hope you like the video and something to learn from it Keep watching and sharing. Thanks so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.